Get as much as you can, right? Oh, do I get the chili? Get the chili as well. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Peshawar, Pakistan, in partnership with my friend Abinaki. Today, I'm so excited because I'm taking you somewhere really special. It's a day trip to the Khyber Pass. What's the Khyber Pass? Basically, this was part of the ancient Silk Road. It's a pass in between the mountains right next to the border of Afghanistan. You know, Alexander the Great went through there, many different invaders. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have some breakfast, we're gonna see the pass and explore the area. I'm very excited. I've been hearing about this place for a long time. Are you ready? Oh, yes, I'm ready to go there. <laughs> have you been? Yeah, I've been there before. Yeah. If you're from Pakistan and you haven't been, you're not Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, now we are going to the Khyber Pass. Uh, basically, Khyber Pass is an entrance between, uh, you know, Peshawar city and uh, the Afghanistan. From Khyber Pass to Afghanistan border, it takes 30 minutes. So now we will go to uh, uh, the Khyber Pass. From here, it takes uh, around uh, one about one hour. One 50 hour. minutes to one hour okay so on the way we will stop for uh, breakfast we will have our breakfast on the way uh, what and breakfast what so is on it? breakfast yeah we'll have uh, a chana malai mm. with paratha and also with chi okay so this is the specialty uh, basically it's called the punjabi nashta so yeah it's like about a one hour drive right yeah one hour drive on the way we're gonna see lots of restaurants hotels and basically that's it right and once we yeah. get there like a winding road Right, and then there's the gate, the main yeah, gate, and that is like the symbol, the iconic symbol of the pass. Of the pass. And if you want to go to Afghanistan, like if you're going to Afghanistan, or you're coming from Afghanistan, it's only 30 minutes from there. On the Dorkham border, uh, so there is a big gate. So from uh, you know from Afghanistan to Pakistan, there is a, on the gate is basically now nowadays it's open because of the Corona it was closed before. So a lot of trucks and goods coming from Afghanistan and going to Pakistan from here. This is the Grand Trunk Road. It's called the GT Road. It's connecting to Afghanistan, Pakistan, and directly connected to India, New Delhi. Okay. So quick question: Chana Malai. So Chana is chickpeas, and then Malai is the cream. So it's Chana and cream. Chana and cream. It's not together. It's not together. So it's a, yeah, no, no, it's not together. Okay. Yeah, they will serve you separately. Separately, and you Chana get the parata, separate, and yeah. you just yeah, bite. you can take a parata and then take a bite. Oh man, I can't wait for some chai though. Oh yeah. Some chai. <laughs> I need some. It's early. It's like 7:30 <laughs> in the morning. We're going really early. Yeah. Want to get there and. Uh, you know the best part about this area especially um, during this time of year is that it's really cool it's not too cold the, the temperature will go up uh, you know in two degrees centimeter three then not in minus okay yeah. well guys let's go to the Khyber Pass so here we are at the Khyber Pass that right there is the main gate so 30 kilometers more you get to Afghanistan okay. right yes. so there's a market here yeah. This is a bazaar. This is a bazaar here, Jamrud Bazaar. Jim from Road. here, uh, the taxis and the buses are going to Afghanistan from this area. Okay, okay. perfect. So, this, so yeah. we're going to get off here and look for some chana yes, masala, yes. right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Uh, breakfast with chana and malai with paratha as well. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? So this vendor right here has the chana, which is the chickpeas, right? He's also uh, frying some chicken. He has some like beef stew, some tomatoes, and right across from us on the other side is where they're doing the paratas, right? Yeah, Over there? Tandoor. Okay, so in the tandoor? Yeah, oh man, it looks great. What is that? Let's go see how they make the parata in the tandoor. So parata in tandoor. Parata in tandoor, yeah, rogani. Rogani parata, it's called rogani parata. Okay. It's made in tandoor. I don't think I've had that one. The rogani parata. I think it's the first time for me. On the way to the parata, there's a few different vendors. One of them is selling a bunch of chats here, right? Nice chats like this, Sev. Mmm, it's good. Very nice, my friend. And over here, he's roasting some corn. Oh, wow. I've never seen it before. He has all the corn here. He has a big bowl and a fire right under it. Morning, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Loving this place. So this is like where everybody commutes between the borders, right? Yeah. There's a lot of Afghanis here. A lot of, mostly they all are Afghanis. Okay. Yeah, the, you know, the, you've seen the females, they were waiting. They're yeah. going to Afghanistan. Yeah, They're waiting the bus and the local bus. And the bus will come and then they, go. they will go to Afghanistan. Yeah, there's a female yeah. waiting area. Obviously, we're not covering that. We're trying to be respectful here, but a lot of different vendors doing different things. So there's like brown sugar, uh, you know, there's so many fried items. 
and then you know things for cars right cars houses a House. typical bazaar right typical bazaar and right in front of us that is the ba bab el kyber so, so that is the gate the main gate or the gate of the kyber pass yeah. right so we're gonna look for some parata it's not so easy to find it but we're gonna get it we're gonna eat parata today so we found a spot here that has the chana and the malai and the paratas but they also have bani pulao banu pulao banu pulao and this is a pulao from afghanistan right um, yes with beef with beef so with a small you know pieces of beef mm -hmm. so the gentleman here is super generous he just like gave me a dish he's like you have to try mm. tasty tasty uh. Mm. Oh man, so different. Moist, chunky beef, hearty. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, what a great way to start a day. Oh. Mm. So this taste is different than the public pulao, right? It's different. And doesn't have um, doesn't have all the other things like the raisins, the, you know, the chickpeas, all the dried fruits. This is less. This is less. Mm. Very tasty. Then I ate the dry food or lines every day. It's yeah. not that much spicy. No, right? that's what it's all. I mean, it's basically just rice and beef. Rice and beef. Yes. Without taste. So much taste here. Mm. Oh, phenomenal. So they weigh it. Yeah, first they weigh it. And then they said, how much uh, kidney will pick it later? After the so we'll 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 so yeah. On this, you know, they wear this one mm -hmm. yes, uh, for one, 100 rupees, Pakistani rupees. And this is the Malai, right here. Malai is like a, it's a cream, straight up cream, right? That's what it is. So we have the Malai, we have the Chana, more Chana right here, and then this is the Tandoor. Oh, big place. He closed it. How are you? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Very good. How are you country? Love your country. <laughs> okay. So this is a different type of parata, right? So he keeps folding it, adding oil and more flour. A little different. And then the shape is not completely round, right? So he's folding it almost like a... I don't even know what you would call this. Oh, like that? Okay, okay. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be very, very different, like, like a long swirl, but then he made it into the, the real parata, right? It's flatbread. Oh man, it's going to be good. It's super hot in here. I'm like literally in the tendor. Look at this. Oh, hot. They are too nice. Oh wow. What are you doing? So he's like just bringing these little holes, right? It's the air pockets basically that pops up. This is like one of the deepest tendors I've ever seen. It's easily like five feet deep, really wide, like four, so five by four. Oh, smoke in the eyes. <laughs> and the whole community came to, to welcome me here. Assalamu alaikum. Pakistan. I've never seen a parata like this. So basically, it's a really, really thin, crispy parata. He pulled it out and he added some more ghee and then they put it back in and toast it even more. Let me see how it feels. Ooh, it's super hot, Ooh. delicious. So we're gonna put this, Malai and China. A little bit crispy, yeah, it looks great. Shukriya. Shukriya, shukriya. Thank you. Shukriya. This is amazing. The whole entire community came to welcome me. Everybody, all the men just came over and said, hi, you're warm and welcome. Okay, so now, Malai, China, and Barata. And this is what we're eating on the floor. Here we go. Chana, Malai, and Prata. Perfect. So how do we do it? Nice and crunchy and crispy. And then like this. So let's get some of that chana, delicious chickpeas. There's uh, some cucumbers, some onions, a chili in there as well. No, no, it's spicy. Oh, wow. What's this? It's like a corn chapati. Corn chapati, it looks like a biscuit. Corn chapati. Dip it? Mm. It's great. So different. It's a you never eat corn here, you know? I think it's like one of the hardest things to eat. Yeah, mostly in this area, these people are like eating corn. Yeah. Mm. Eating corn. It's like cornbread. Cornbread. It's like cornbread. Very thick, so dip it in, right? Get some of that oil. Mm. 
That's how we do it, right? Get the barata, get a little bit, and dip it in. Yeah, dip it in, and then... Get as much as you can, right? Oh, do I get the chili? Get the chili as well. Mmm! Oh, it's not too hot. Nice oil. Mm. Very soft chippies. And on the side, you also have... Like a, sweet. like a sweet salad, right? Like a cucumber. It's almost like a dill salad. So this is a cucumber, onion, yogurt salad on the side. What an experience here. Mm. Incredible. Mm. I gotta say, when you told me about this place, you didn't tell me what to really expect. And this is just another you know, this another is, world. Uh, um, this is, you know, unexpected <laughs> we come here. Just, I, was, I was thinking we'll go to some restaurant and just sit. And then we'll eat. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we'll order a prata, chennai, malai. But here it's totally different. Yeah, and literally everybody surrounding us watching us yeah, eat. This is great. <laughs> no, I, I know, man. They, they never see a foreigner come and like really embrace their culture, yeah, right? This area. In this area, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this is this is obviously on the border with Afghanistan. Less people come this way. Mm -hmm. Look how crispy the parata is. So different. Also, lots of ghee, so this is actually sweetness. Shukriya. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. We are sure to you in relation to you came our country. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The best welcome maker ever. I mean, I couldn't have expected this. This is like awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. And this, the best. Pulao? Pulao, so good. So good. Shukriya. 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 What a beautiful place. Incredible. And this is like a tiny, tiny town, right? Right here, Kyrie Pass. Oh, where are we going next? We will see the landscape, that's it. There's no market, any bazaar, nothing. So, just we will see the area, the road, which is going to the Afghanistan. We keep making our way into more and more incredible vendors. Over here we have a guy making popcorn. This guy's making samosas. A little different though. These samosas are very thin, not so full. Do they have anything inside? Anything? It looks empty. Inside with uh, boiled uh, potato, tomato, and with radish. Oh yeah? So, it's a mixture of potato, tomato, and radish. Yeah, but they're very, very thin. It's extremely crispy. Yeah. Extremely crispy. Shagria. You want to get? I guess I'll taste it, but it's really hot, right? Ooh. It's really hot. <laughs> it's like extremely hot. It just came yeah. out of the frying. So it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you have some potatoes, you have some herbs. Mm -hmm. This is like a super crispy empanada. Mm. Oh, too hot, too hot, right? Everybody's so friendly. So friendly. What's up, guys? Okay, so we're gonna keep walking through this bazaar. Uh, it's packed now. Lots of people, lots of cars. Wow, beautiful. So over here we have a mosque, right? Yeah, this is a mosque. So we have a mosque, and then basically just a big bazaar, right? With everything. It's a big bazaar. It's called Jamrot Bazaar. Jamrot Bazaar. So everything is going uh, to Afghanistan border from here. In Afghanistan border, there is no any talk shop or any other small shop. It's nothing. But uh, the vendor, they're uh, like uh, coming here to take their goods and grocery they're buying from here. This is the market near to the Afghanistan border. Wow, the ice blocks. Oh man. So we're gonna walk a little more through the market and see what else we can find. A lot of vegetable vendors over here. So there's a different, it feels completely different from that side, which is more food. Over here, it's just like a real market. Look at this ice box, it's like straight melting. This vendor is very friendly. So he has potatoes, cauliflower, tomato, onions, cucumbers, what else? No, oh, I gotta put my mask on, hold on, hold on, sorry. <laughs> oh, what is this guy doing? His name is Okra. Yeah, we're Ghana. We're local to Ghana. Ghana, Ghana. It's uh, the local name is Ghana. Okay. So they clean and there you can eat easily. It's worth very tasty and very sweet. Okay. It looks like heart of palm. Mm. Nice, man. A lot of moisture comes out. Mm. Sugar, very sugar. The yeah, sugar cane. A lot of sugar came out of it. A lot of water, right? Mm. I could like suck on this all day. Yes. Incredible how everybody surrounds us. It's like intense here. Can't even walk now. Too many people. Everybody's so nice though. Super friendly. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very good. You from? America, America. America. Yeah. Are you from tourists? 
How is the uh, Jamrud? Is good? Very good. Really? Love this country. First time, yeah, second time. First time, first time. First time, first time. Yeah. welcome. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Hey, this market became alive, huh? So many people now. Intense. Wow. I mean, now it's like vibrant. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Mahalo. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta keep moving because it keeps stopping me. You keep telling me, hey, come try something. Come look at this. Oh, okay, here's the vegetables, huh? All vegetable market here. Hello, my friend. How are you? This vendor right here is selling kid, which is basically rice pudding. A little different though. This one looks a little browner. Usually it's like whiter. This is yeah, more brown. Because because he uh, ate the brown sugar. Oh, just brown sugar. The that's brown why. Sugar. Okay, okay, that's why. That's why. All right, let's continue. I can't have some kid right now. <laughs> And that's it, my friends. We explored the Khyber Pass and the Jamrut Bazaar. What an incredible experience. Walking through the bazaar, seeing, you know, vendors, people. We tried so many different things. We tried pulao. What pulao is that? Banu pulao. Banu pulao. Delicious. Oh, so good. It just had beef and some moist rice. Oh, fantastic. We also tried some parata, uh, chana, malai, and the people there were so welcoming. It was incredible. And we saw the gate, and that is like what you can do in this area, right? So foreigners are not allowed to pass the gate. So up to that point, and that's it, and you go back. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this experience in the Cairo Pass. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Pakistan.